I'm going to show you how to replace the LCD and the digitizer on this Toshiba Satellite L30W. As you can see, the um, LCD and digitizer are one piece. So we're going to separate um, the frame around, around it. Now this is our new component. As you can see, digitizer and the LCD are one piece. Uh, but it doesn't come with the bracket that's around it. So we're going to remove from the old one. And it's going to be quite a challenge. Now, the once we finish that, so this is the other part of the um, LCD. So basically, it's just going to clip into it. You can see the, um, the hard drive, the battery, and CPU. Everything else is there. And there is also a docking station. Basically, the keyboard and other USB connections come into it. We'll have a look at that later. Okay, so we need to use our heat gun and any tools that you may have to help you with this project and good luck. I'm going to speed up the next process. I do recommend you wear two sets of gloves instead of one, just like what I've done there. And Toshiba has used a lot of glue and so just go bit by bit and don't apply too much heat then you you will melt the plastic that's holding the LCD together and if you do melt the plastic you're pretty much screwed because it will be out of shape and you can't put it back together again when it gets cold
Okay, now finally we have separated the frame from the LCD and the digitizer. Look at the condition. Unbelievable. Okay, so we're going to put that in the bin. There it goes. Now this bracket needs to be fully cleaned, so remove any excess glue or glass that had stuck and then uh, we're going to go to the next stage. Anyone hungry? Glass. Yum. Okay. Seriously. Now before we start the whole putting back together business, we need to put double side tape all around this or your uh, screen you can choose now if i re what i would like to do is um, inspect how this new screen will go in before actually doing a full attempt so have a feel have a idea how everything is going to fit and most importantly the ic chip on the side of the LCD for the digitizer has a special way of going in that little part there it actually it actually goes in an angle first inwards and then you push it in and then it locks into the screen uh, it's a bit tricky so have a good look at it understand how it's going to go see you can see those two little notches they actually go under under the IC chip there we go. And there is a ribbon cable yeah, so which must be lifted up and I'll show you shortly. Okay. The screen fits perfectly. Only if you get the um, IC chip yeah, side so incorrectly. So that gives us an idea how we're going to install it. Have a feel. So yeah, part, so this is the important here. part. And then, and then the outer edges will actually go nice. You can tell it is not whether you install correctly by the yeah. frame around it. Now we're going to separate and start applying the double side tape. As you can see here in the screen, how it goes in and out. So be careful with the LCD, do not touch it or put any pressure on the LCD. So we're going to put double side tape all around this LCD. I think it's a much wiser choice because it's got a flat surface and the glue can hold on to it much better. But don't cover the camera hole or the sensor hole. You will see what I mean shortly. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to attempt to fit the frame into the LCD. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to try and put the um, digitizer IC chip side first and slide it in. Now, it's a bit tricky because I've already peeled the double side tape. Now, you have to be careful that whole ribbon cable actually goes on top of the plastic. I had a bit of a struggle here, so take your time, this is very crucial. Notice the middle part is not going in. 
So, yeah, you'll need a some kind of a tool to lift the middle part up so the plastic can actually go in go inside. So be very gentle. And be careful of the LCD. So make sure it's nice and firm. It has fit perfectly on this side. And you will now notice the bracket is now fitting perfectly into its position. So start pressing around the screen and make sure the glue double side tape is all pressed so just keep pressing all around do not touch the LCD so be very careful keep going all around it until it's nice and firm press down hard we still have the protector of the screen on it so we won't cause any scratches Keep doing it, keep doing it until you're 100% sure that it has stuck together well. Hmm, it's looking nice now. Let's have a quick peel, have a look at it. Nice. But we don't know if the screen is working yet or not, so it's all a gamble at the moment. Okay, so we're going to try and get our other part of the laptop connected and see whether we can turn it on and if it's working or not. So keep pressing firmly. Take your time. Okay, the moment of truth. Now we're going to connect the other half of the laptop to our LCD. Now you have to be really careful of the connectors. This is the digitizer input. It goes into our new LCD. very tiny so take your time okay now the LCD data cable it can only go one way so take your time
now it's finally in and secure so I gently lift the LCD up just for testing and I'll get the charger and we'll give it a go okay now we've got the charger plugged it in it's a 19 volt this one is designed for Toshiba and uh, I can see a charging light yellow color on near the power button press the power button now and there we go great it's complaining that the uh, RTC battery is very low that's understandable it has been off for a long time and as you can see the digitizer is working and Windows is going to start shortly there we go now before putting it all back together let's apply some tape to all the parts that can come loose most importantly the LCD data cable so apply sticky tape on top nice and firm and do it all around the LCD take your time Now the final stage, putting it all together. It has um, clips all around the screen, so gently start pressing down. Starting from one side, keep going along. Be gentle and just keep going around, running your finger all around the LCD until every inch starts to click in. That's looking good. Hmm. Let's give it a go. Plug it in to our new dock. Feels like home again. We're going to connect the charger. There should be a blue uh, white light for power and orange light for charging in front of the docking station and what's happening now yep the charging light is on and just keep checking the screen make sure there is uh, all the clicks all the clips are in there we go she's building up beautiful and that's it for you hopefully you enjoyed it and if you have any uh, suggestions on how I could have done this much better, let me know. I will be interested in hearing about it. Thank you.